Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a Saturday evening episode of Ted's Booze Cellar with me your most gracious host Ted and uh, I hope I'm finding you guys on this early evening in uh, good health, good fortune and good hopes. So today we're going to be taking a look at a drink that I initially bought just to review it because it looked interesting but then some good news for one of my close friends came up. Um, namely my good friend Imogen and she has been accepted onto a very interesting looking course um, that I honestly hope she does really well at and that not too many outlying facts get in the way of her diligent studies for next academic year for the 2020-21 uh, academic year and um, so to Imogen for getting accepted onto your what I hope is dream uh, course um, Congratulations, well done, and I hope it all turns out fantastically well with, you know, some uh, chocolate flavoured ice cream sprinkled on top with some glacé cherries or something like that. And um, I kind of did pick this drink originally just to review it because it looked interesting, but I thought, well, Imogen kind of likes so many sweet things, and this looks like the ticket because we're taking a look at Black Fox Organic Cider. Now, I don't know if this is sweet, because some uh, organic ciders can be a bit sharp, but I'm willing to give this a look in, because it says it's medium dry, so usually medium dry ciders for me generally tend to have that dry sharpness that a lot of British ciders do. But um, they can also have like a sort of sweet undertone to them as well. This is fairly strong though, it is 6.8%, so everyone out there who's thinking of trying this, do keep that in mind, it's probably one just to have in small doses. Um, and it's by... Dunkerton's uh, Cider Brewery, who are founded in Herefordshire, and uh, let's see, anything else it says? Ah, okay, so founded in 1980 with a pioneering spirit and vision, our ciders are crafted from freshly harvested organic cider apples and matured for over 12 months to deliver the famous Dunkerton's deep flavour. Folklore told of a black fox, sorry, Folklore told of a fox as black as night that could live in a man's shadow and so never be seen or caught. The black fox's favourite haunt is our cider orchards. Award-winning black fox is handcrafted with up to 14 different carefully blended cider apple varieties to deliver a deliciously rounded cider with a lively tangy finish and light honey hues. Now it says um, on the back that it's got two out of five for sweetness and then three out of five for both acidity and tannins so yeah no this sounds good oh it even has some food pairing suggestions on the back it says perfectly complements a traditional plowman's lunch basically or especially a classic cheddar or a hearty organic beef stew well i mean imogen's vegetarian anyway so I'll leave it up to you to decide what you might want to have this with. Now, this was two ninety nine for this um, five hundred milliliter bottle from the Wine Barrel Liquor Store in Brighton and Hove. So, um, oh bugger! Uh, right, well, I didn't expect it to uh, overflow like that, but uh, never fear. I have got some toilet roll to clean it up, and I've also got some um, uh, all-purpose cleaner as well, uh, just in case. But um, yeah, so. Uh, Technical difficulties do happen sometimes here on the uh, Ted's Blue Cellar channel, but as always, the show must continue. God, that does actually smell quite strong. I am probably going to have to get out the carpet cleaner as well for this. Uh, yeah, that's less than ideal. But hopefully the uh, taste will make up for it. Now, I like the simplicity of the design of the bottle. It's very clear, crisp, gives you a very sort of like British folklore sort of feel. So I'll give it a 9 out of 10 for the design of the bottle, but what about the smell? <sighs> I'll tell you what, like the, um, the impression that you get from the ABV that it's a strong uh, cider is uh, definitely backed up by the um, smell because this smells very pungent. <laughs> um, uh, it smells very sharp, it's got a very pronounced sharp British apple cider sort of smell. It, it smells like how you would think it smells. Um, I can't say I'd be willing to like smell this the whole time, but it's not a terrible smell either, so I'll give it um, 7 out of 10 for the smell. It's good. 
it's just not amazing. Um, but then again, I have smelt much worse smelling ciders, so, I mean, doesn't smell that bad really, to be honest. But uh, yeah, so, 9 out of 10 for the design of the bottle, 7 out of 10 for the smell, but what about the taste? So, Dimension and everyone else who's starting courses next year, congratulations, and here's to you guys. Bottoms up. Hmm, it's not as sharp as I thought it was going to be. It's a bit sweeter as well. It's definitely got that floral, organic cider smell to it. Oh, wow, I'm already feeling a buzz. But, um, yeah, no, it's got that sort of like floral middle taste that you feel with a lot of British organic Herefordshire ciders. But, um, no, it's a, it's an interesting taste. And I definitely see what they say there on the back of the bottle with the fact that it is really well paired with a nice cheddar or something like that. Because it has that sort of... Not necessarily rich, but sort of like developed and cultured taste that you feel would sort of like go really nicely with something that has it maybe a bit of a smoky undertone, so like a really nice extra mature cheddar or like a really good blue Stilton maybe. But um, no, that's a very nice sort of like cultured flavour. It's um, the initial taste is kind of strange. Like you drink it and you immediately feel like this sharp sort of British cider taste. Then you get this hit of like this strange sort of floral um, pungency. But then the aftertaste is quite interesting because the aftertaste kind of mellows those two aspects down a bit and then brings it all together with a little bit of sweetness. It's really weird, but um, it kind of works. It's a surprisingly well-rounded flavour um, for having so many varieties of um, apples in it. Mm, yeah, no, I'd definitely be happy to have this with something like a ploughman's lunch. That would be really nice, actually, I think. They think they've hit it right on the nail on the head. Mm. Yeah, I, um, I'm pretty happily pleased with this. Uh, Dunkertons, you guys have done yourselves proud with this one. Um, don't think... Mm, can I rate it as highly as the design of the bottle? No, oh, I think it's. I think I'm close to rating it as highly as like the design of the bottle, but I don't know. There's just it's just a really tiny aspect of it that's like missing what I would call the pizzazz. You know, it's a aspect to like a drink or a bit of food that like gives it a bit of character, but you really struggle to sort of like quantify or characterize what it actually is in words um, and I'm having a bit of trouble with that but I, I don't know let's say 8.5 I think 8.5 out of 10 is pretty fair and it meets that not just but like it meets it really respectably and quite solidly so yeah 9 out of 10 for the design of the bottle 7 out of 10 for the smell and 8.5 out of 10 for the taste I would definitely say this is a buy well recommended for pretty much any circumstance except for really being a sesh drink I think, pardon me, I think it's far too nice to sort of like chug down, um, so I think meal drink, maybe a pre-drink, maybe uh, to have a couple with a friend over a chit-chat, probably suitable for those circumstances, probably not for a sesh drink, but still, really nice drink, suitable for a lot of occasions, and probably quite good with a lot of traditional British meals, like um, sweet dumplings and beef stew or plowman's lunch or prawn cocktail sandwich, something like that. So check this out if you guys are interested. Two ninety nine for this bottle from the Wine Barrel uh, Liquor Store in Brighton and Hove. And yeah, to Imogen, if you ever get the chance to try this, I would really recommend it and I think it would be right up your street. So to everyone else and all in all, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, share and subscribe. If you have any future suggestions for future episodes of Ted's Boo Cellar, leave them in the comments section below, and I'll see what I can do. Can't promise anything, but I'll try my best. 
and as well also check out my other social medias and YouTube channels which I'll leave links to in the video description below as well and yeah if anything else comes up regarding any like new products from Dunkertons I'd like to hear about it because I was pleasantly surprised by this so yeah until next time I've been Titan Ted, Uncle Ted and all those other expletives and have fun stay safe wash your damn hands drink responsibly know your limits and i'll see you guys at the bar next time on ted's booze cellar bye bye for now